In this week's episode of the Indulge podcast, we're in conversation with the new executive director of Alliance Française de Madras, Patricia Thierry Hart. Patricia Thierry Hart developed a global persona and perspective with a focus on arts and higher education in England, Canada and Thailand. She started her career in sales and marketing in the tourism industry and in the arts at Walker Art Center in North America. She worked for Jennifer Flay Gallery in Paris. She then had the opportunity to join an American higher education group as the director of corporate relations in charge of public relations, strategic alliances, development and fundraising. She also got actively involved in student social entrepreneurship coaching. She graduated from the University of Minnesota in art history, Dauphin University in management and INSEAD in social entrepreneurship and holds a doctorate in education from the Liverpool University. She has worked at Alliance Française Bangkok as deputy director between 2015 and 2019 where she oversaw marketing and communication. Prior to working at Alliance Française de Madras, she was the dean of a business school in Paris between 2019 and 2022. Hi and welcome to a brand new episode of the Indulge podcast with me Roma Lyshram. I've got someone very special with me today on my show. We've got the brand new director at the Alliance Française in Madras, Dr. Patricia Thierry Hart. Hi and welcome to the show. Vanakam. Bonjour. Vanakam to you too. Bonjour. So let's quickly right let's get right into the conversation. Now you've taken over around 2 weeks ago right. and you moved in from the Alliance Française at Bangkok. What do you think of Chennai so far? I love it. I've been here uh, a week. I've been uh, many places. It's very lively, very diverse. A mm-hmm. uh, couple of days ago, I went to see a Sufi concert at ITC, which was quite uh, amazing. Uh, people have been welcoming. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a very lively city. It's just wonderful. And it was my first choice. Super. Okay. So I'm blessed. <laughs> really? <laughs> What do you know about India before you moved to uh, Chennai? Is uh, this your first time? No, no, no. I've been many times because uh, I shouldn't talk about it, but uh, when I was younger, I used to practice Kalari Payat. Wow. But it was many years ago. Okay. Uh, so I used to go to Trivandrum a lot every Lovely. summer basically. Yeah. So I've been yeah, I've been many places. Well, then you have a very very deep connection with Indian. I think I do. So, nice. I think I do. <laughs> okay, let's quickly get over the serious questions. Now, uh, you know, heading an institution like the Alliance Française in Chennai, it gives you such a huge responsibility is especially because, you know, Chennai is close to Pondicherry, there are a lot of people who are interested in French. What role do you think uh, an organization like Alliance plays in teaching French and introducing French to students in India? Well, I think, you know, Alliance we we have basically three missions, three main missions. Uh one is to promote French and learn uh locals to, you know, uh get to know French, learn and get certifications. The second one is really to promote a uh, dialogue between friends and the culture. Mm-hmm. So that's uh, that's a very uh, important. And and the third one is to try to promote cultural activities to, you know, between artists in France and in India. So so I think the the role is major to try to connect two different uh, countries, two different cultures. and try to establish a dialogue so we know and we understand each other now the cultural ties between india and france go back 200 300 400 years mm-hmm. quite quite a long time um what role does the alliance play in kind of bridging that gap that has come over the last 75 to 80 years between india and france so what does alliance do to kind of retie france back to india well i think it's the, i think the main point would be trying to understand each other and work together um i think understanding the other is very important not trying to promote or impose something but try to understand each other try to initiate a dialogue in between two cultures and try then to produce something together for instance you know in terms of cultural uh, events or activities we always try to have a connection between indian culture and french culture so it's not about french coming to india or indian going to france it's it's trying to work together and create something together nice. so 
that makes a lot of sense now you've come to india and india has a long lasting relationship with france i mean be it political or cultural the french had you know a huge colony here especially in south india but your previous experience was in bangkok right yeah and how was that kind of a connection between thailand and france it was very different it was my first uh, time working in asia so it was a bit of a cultural shock but um, uh, learning experience too. Uh, Thai people are extremely nice, very diverse too. Um, we are very different in the way we, we work. Uh, and yet at the same time, uh, we, we, we did amazing things in Bangkok. You know, uh, the Alliance Francaise there was like a, a building of 6,000 uh, meters square. So it was huge. Uh, we had about 250 events a year. We had uh, 3,000 students learning French, uh, so, um, so I, it was an amazing experience, really. For my first experience in Asia, I, I, I loved it. And, mm -hmm. and, and again, very welcoming, very understanding, you know. So, Lovely. Okay, before we boomerang back to my questions about India. So since you've been in Thailand and you've lived there for quite some time, Tell us something about Bangkok that, you know, nobody else knows. What, what would you recommend if someone from, you know, uh, one of our readers or listeners travels to Bangkok? One secret that you could kind of open up for us. A well, definite must a, visit. A must visit in uh, Bangkok would be to really get lost in uh, Chinatown. Okay. Uh, they have those amazing little houses all over. Like, you know, you really have to let yourself go walk around and it's you have those little places where you can eat and nice. you know like street food and uh, uh, I think that that's what I would recommend I would Super. just go and get lost in those little streets Super. This is Roma Lyshram and Dr. Patricia. We're on the Indulge podcast. And as she just made a wonderful recommendation, do try out Chinatown in Bangkok if you're ever there. Quickly moving back to our conversation now. So the con connections between France and India are very close. We've said that over and above again. And we also have organizations like the Alliance working really close to bring back that connection culturally, be it in terms of education. But in the role of the director, what else would you like to do? in terms of this this big canvas that has been presented to you with the city of Chennai, you're back in India. What would you like to shift around or do something? New? Basically, I am very much interested in the know-how of arts and craft. Uh, and I'm also an uh, um, expert in social entrepreneurship. So I would like to be able to work those two interests together and implement them within Alliance Francaise. So maybe have workshops, you know, on social entrepreneurship with partnerships, you know. Um, I saw uh, a, an association here, which is called Start India. Uh, they do uh, murals, you on know, walls, yes. right. And you know, I'd love to work with them. So that's the kind of initiative I would like to be able to work on with partners, not just, you know, alone mm -hmm. here, but with outside partners and bring more people at Alliance Francaise. Lovely. So you spoke about the partnership with START and, yeah. um, you know, trying to bring in this this new way of looking at these these cultural ties between the two country uh two countries now you've got many alliance francis across the country you're not the only no state. there are 15 of them yeah is there a healthy competition between you all and what kind of competition exists well i i've only been here two weeks mm -hmm. so and i met my colleagues actually mm -hmm. in uh, new delhi and mm -hmm. actually i would not think about competition because mm -hmm. We're all in different parts of uh, India, and actually, we work together on projects. So we have, uh, uh, you know, we have initiatives that can be, you know, launched in one area mm -hmm. of uh, India, and then, you know, they'll offer, you know, for us to work with them, and vice versa. We can have, you know, an initiative and, you know, work with our colleagues. So, so I wouldn't say that there is a healthy competition. I think uh, <laughs> we actually work very well together. That's that's lovely to hear. Yeah. Also, the Alliance has a space within the cities that it exists within India. It's often become an art space. Theatre is huge right. yeah. with Alliance and you often rent out your, your halls and your auditoriums right. yeah. for multiple cultural events. Mm -hmm. So where does that that culture come from? How has Alliance become this this cultural hub? Was that something that you all decided as a as a focus many many years ago, or has it just happened organically? No, I think you know I think it's it's one uh, it's one uh, thing that you know 
uh, France promotes, you know, I mean, cultural is part of our DNA. And I think that when the Alliance Francaise were created, the idea was to share this love of cultures, you know, whether it's literature or theater or arts. So I think uh, uh, the, the idea was to, yeah, to share this culture in the world. So there are, I think there are 118 Alliance Francaise in the world, over 136 countries. And uh, uh, yeah, basically sharing this uh, DNA. Okay. French in today's world, in 2022, French is now an international language, it always has been. But uh, with your kind of a background, you've been in the US, you are from Paris, and you've also been in UK. Yeah. So how different has the reception to French as a language, French as a culture been in these multiple places, and then now Bangkok and India too? Oh, I, I think we are very lucky because French is always seen as the uh, diplomatic uh, language or... Uh, a language that people want to share because it's very romantic. Mm -hmm. So in every country I go to, uh, people always speak a few words in French to me. Always. Lovely. Lovely. So I think the feedback is always very positive. So across the world, you think people are still excited places about I've, Yeah, places I've been to. But of course, everybody speaks English nowadays, <laughs> you know, I have to admit. Mm. But, uh, but maybe, yeah, French has still this, you know, romantic yeah. connotation. And, uh, and, and of course, it's the language of diplomats. Absolutely. Um, as someone who heads an organization like the Alliance Française in Chennai, what would be your advice to someone who has, you know, those um, beginning problems to come and learn French? I mean, a lot of people want to learn French, but they're, they're a little bit scared. They think it's a, it's a very different language. It's tough. People are very scared about French grammar. So what would you... Uh, say to someone who wants to, you know, take that first step and join the Alliance for a course? I'd say that just, just come to Alliance Francaise. You know, teachers are wonderful. Mm -hmm. They're very understanding. Uh, French is difficult, but I don't think it's more difficult than Tamil. <laughs> for sure. That's what I've heard. Uh, so, you know, I think you have to try. Whatever you do in life, you have to try. If you have a dream and if it's to learn French, Come and learn French. Lovely. Uh, beyond and above, you know, the ease of language. If you know French, you can, you know, travel across many European countries. As you said, it language diplomatique. You said it also French can be used in North Africa. Right. But beyond and above that, do you think knowing French can really help someone's career? And what are the ways you think it could help? Someone? I think it does because learning any type of language allows you to understand the way people think. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just not about learning French. It's about trying to understand how we, uh, we think, how our thinking process. And I think language helps you understand this thinking. And, you know, I'll, I'll give you an example, for instance. You know, there are languages where you don't have feminine and masculine. Mm -hmm. Others you have and so on. So, so I think learning a language, no matter what, is always very good to understand the culture. Lovely. This is Roma Leisham on the Indulge podcast with my guest, Dr. Patricia, who is the new director of the Alliance Française in Chennai. We're quickly going to boomerang now to some personal and fun questions. You learned Kalari Paya too, so you've been in Kerala before this. So yeah. what is your favorite part of India to travel to and why? My favorite part of India, I think the, 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 place, uh, the two places I loved the most were Hampi. Okay. I loved Hampi and I loved Chetinad. Mm-hmm. And, so, what, and maybe you... Chennai soon. Yeah, we hope. <laughs> <laughs> so what was what did you like the most about Chetinad and Hampi? Uh, I loved uh, Hampi because it was in the middle of nowhere and it reminded me of the jungle books. Mm -hmm. Nice. And Chetinad because you have all those beautiful houses with this amazing craft inside. Lovely. So nice. uh, just very beautiful. Now, uh, there's a huge bunch of foreigners who've made India home. A lot of people are coming into a city like Chennai. As someone who's lived in multiple countries and with your experiences in India, what would be your advice to them about, you know, how to discover India? What do you think people should check out in the country? I think just to be open-minded and try not to put your uh, Westerners, Googles, I always say, you know, come here with an open mind. Don't judge mm -hmm. and just enjoy. Lovely. 
Okay, what else can we look forward to from Alliance Frances Chennai? I know you've been here only two weeks, yeah. but what can we look forward to? I know you, is there a festival that we can look forward to? What have you planned? Anything that you... We have many, many festivals coming up. Uh, Bonjour India, of course, will be uh, one of them. Um, I think we will try to, to do, you know, festivals around uh, dance and... Uh, yeah, basically dance. Uh, I would love to have uh, uh, a festival that would last all night. Lovely. You know, that I would love that. And photography too. Mm -hmm. Chennai uh, is huge on photography. We actually, you know, one of our partner is uh, Chennai uh, Photo Biennale. Yeah. 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 Nice. And and uh, and soon coming up, we have the uh, sweet and uh, short and sweet festival. Short and sweet festival with, with the Prakriti yeah. Foundation. Nice, nice. So. So more theater, more culture, more yes, fun. more culture, more fun, and make it more French too. You know, so Lovely. that when you come here, you have the uh, French experience, and you have you know wine tasting, mm -hmm. you have you know wine and cheese, chocolate tasting. Uh, I would love to you know bring a French chef, you know, to yes. have you know like maybe a week around French cuisine, uh, fashion show. When I was in Bangkok, we organized two beautiful fashion shows Lovely. with designers, mm -hmm. uh, actually Thai designers. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe you know, I try to uh, try to uh, introduce uh, what makes friends, you know, uh, interesting, interesting to, to today's average, which is what we call art de vivre. Super. Okay, my last question for you. Since you're now in India and you're now in Chennai and you're going to be here for a while, we hope at least. I hope. <laughs> so what's the first five things on your must-do list that you, you're going to get through? And this is your personal life. not uh, personal life? Yes, huh? not with the Alliance. Uh, it's, it's not that much fun. Personal life was find an apartment, okay. <laughs> get a car, mm -hmm. then have time to go and visit. Mm -hmm. I saw that with, I think it's the cultural heritage. You can do like walking, mm -hmm. you know, uh, um, just explore, really, really explore the town, trying to visit the different galleries, temples, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, take the time to visit. Yeah. Lovely. Okay, let's wish you all the best for Thank your stint you. as the director of the Alliance Francaise in Chennai. And we're so happy to have you on board and we're Thank really you. excited. Thank you for we hope you do interview. amazing stuff in this role. Um, this is Roma Leishram on the Indulge podcast and my guest, Dr. Patricia, who's the new director of the Alliance Francaise in Chennai. Thank you so much Thank for your you. time, ma'am. And before you go, is there one thing that you'd like to learn in Tamil that we can teach you? Anything, any phrase? Bienvenue. Bienvenue. What would that be in Tamil? What does that translate to in English? Welcome. Ah, in Tamil you say Varag. 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 Yeah, Varag. Varag. Or you can say also Nal Varag. Nal Varag. Nal Varag. Nal Varag. V, v. Nal Varag. So you can say Varag, which is please come, or you can say Nal Varag. Okay. Well, it's one of my list, learning Tamil. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, so on that beautiful note, we hope you pick up Tamil before you leave the city, if, mm. whenever that happens, if yeah. you're ever planning to. Thank you so much for your time again. Thank you so much. This is Romal on the Indulge podcast and we'll be back next week again with a wonderful conversation with a brand new wonderful guest. Thank you so much. Have a great day.